have you found within the area of new energy uh, because that is the hot area right now and many entrepreneurs across the world are moving away from the traditional businesses and investing in this have you found any uh, you know sort of compelling uh, investment opportunities there so so we haven't yet but that is a very interesting sector that makes sense from so you all are so examining many, it, uh, it points of view and we are looking at it nothing concrete yet but i think there is something that is very much up our street uh, so it in is in terms of new energy so you mean hydrogen in terms of hydrogen in terms of you know just just the uh, whole play on environment sustainability esg uh, all our businesses have been very committed to sustainability uh, and you know co2 emission norms coming down it, it's been sort of an ethos so in that sense uh, it lends itself uh you know to being invested in by us as a sector and when you said digital what did you mean by that I, by digital i mean you know, anything could be anything digital, digital like that yeah i'm talking about digital purely no, so you, digital play which could be so yeah you're saying like tech, like a soon, fintech oh okay it could be fintech as well i'm i'm not sure yet but why not or social media like elon musk wanted to buy twitter are you interested in twitter ha huh. good question <laughs> No, I mean, as so I'm asking you seriously. It's sold already, and I couldn't afford it. Even if it's I not was. yet sold, she's still in the process of. Who knows whether the deal goes through or not? But, but you know, I think there is space for one or two new businesses. So that's uh, what I mean. Like, so as dramatically different as social as media or something. Not as dramatically different as that, because I mean, that would be too bold and too courageous. I don't think I have that kind of courage. But I mean, something where, uh, you know, we can play to win, where there is a right to win, as they say. Okay. So e-commerce. That's what you mean. because you know, that would be a natural extension of some of your retail businesses so right? our fashion retail business is so already online yeah they're looking at uh, d2c so do you mean something uh, like that or something beyond that so i'm talking about for example digital in in the lending space or okay. digital in the health space could be some very interesting opportunities okay in the case of health it also makes a social impact so resonates with us very well but you know these are all in the pipeline this is just uh, we're just on the drawing board and looking at different okay. options Are there other new businesses besides this? I know you spoke of digital and uh, new energy. So nothing else that nothing I can talk about the just now, Milka. But I'm sure there are things that will happen. Uh, I, like I said, we have huge headroom for growth, uh, and in a in a sense, uh, we don't have an option but to look for new growth avenues. You don't have an option. So when you have that much of headroom on the balance sheet, uh, if you're not growing, you're not utilizing your equity well enough. but you can double down on some of your existing businesses that of like course is the first priority that of course is the first priority that of course is the first priority because even retail you have stayed within uh, a confined limit uh, you haven't really built out the business the scale at which some of your conventional businesses run at retail has come nowhere close so, to that so financial those, services will come nowhere close to that case. i'm talking about uh, companies where the growth options uh, potentially are far more uh then what you can do in the current business so to speak i'm not talking about so let's not jump into uh, you know the area of diversification i'm just saying that the positive side to it is that we have huge headroom for growth so we've got to find uh, avenues to grow that are interesting and that you know give us the kind of return that we normally look for